Now at six, whether you're exercising or exploring, we're all getting outside a little more these days. And with that, a reminder to tech, check for ticks on yourself, your kids and your pets. Yeah, as 10 TV's and Lindsay Mills reports tonight, the new types of ticks to be on the lookout for here in Ohio very well may be carrying Lyme disease. Here in Ohio, there are many different types of ticks, but now there are five you are most likely to encounter while outside with your family and pets, and they carry diseases like Lyme disease, which can be very difficult to diagnose. Completely exhausted, migraines, um, confusion. Kelly Connor's son Bryson Tussie was 12 when he started having health problems, including swollen knees. Just overall feeling terrible all the time. 18 months later, they finally figured out what was wrong. He was diagnosed with Lyme disease. We've seen an increase steady in Ohio in Lyme cases over the last 10 years. It mirrors the United States. Dr. Timothy McDermott, the OSU Extension Agriculture and Natural Resources Educator in Franklin County, says the reason is in part due to the fact we're seeing more ticks and different types. Last year in 2020, as if we didn't have enough to worry about, we got confirmation of the very first case in Ohio of the true invasive Asian longhorn tick. Uh, that was found on a dog in Gallia County, and we established, um, we, we verified the establishment of breeding colonies of the Gulf Coast tick. Another thing he says, symptoms of Lyme disease overlap with symptoms of COVID-19, like fever, fatigue, and headaches. That's why it's so important to check for ticks, because if you know of a tick bite, you can test for a tick-borne disease. In a lot of cases, if you don't know of an attached tick on you that you can relay that to your physician, that might not be high up on the list of the tests that you get. Like in the case of Kelly Connor's son, they never saw a tick or a rash, and that's why she's urging others to always check. Early detection is the key. So the best thing you can do to prevent a tick bite is to wear protective clothing, check for ticks, and if you see one, remove it as soon as possible. In Galloway, Lindsay Mills, 